Okay, so let's think about some navigation. Let me go to the navigation mode and get it on over to the rendezvous location. Okay, so I've got good guidance now on I'm just going to fly the needle to put me back on my ground track, and it was 2,000 meters at 600 kph, kilometers per hour. Okay, so let me come back around here, and that'll take me a little bit over to the left again. Overshot on the altitude. No big deal. Okay, there's two on the takeoff roll. Okay, so navigation in the Sukhoi 25, it's set up almost like it has an INS. It gives you steer points, and they're just kind of at arbitrary locations, but in reality, this would be working off of radio navigation. See, it's an R the RSBN system, just like it's in the MiG-21. You see the navigation right there, channel 34. So, in theory at least, <laughs> Waypoint 1 is actually a radio beacon out there on channel 34. So, unless there's an actual beacon, I shouldn't be able to steer just directly towards any of these, uh, these locations. But it's set up, just kind of simplified, almost as if you have an INS with steer points and waypoints and all that stuff set up for you. Okay, so let's see here. Getting back into the cockpit, watching what's going on. Okay, so I've got some... Uh, Okay, still got the AWACS up, and I've still got EM, so those are medium range. I've got to get you, I had all this stuff figured out in the uh, the Russian language cockpit, so EM is going to be a medium range radar. I believe those are friendlies, and I, I, I'm doing this right after I posted video number four of the uh, of the campaign. So I have read a lot of comments, and I know that if there's a triangle, in association with the spikes that they're friendly. If there's no triangle, then they're hostile. I'm assuming it's the one right down there at the bottom left by the tail. It's gotta be the one. So, okay, I can assume that those are friendlies, which is what I would assume anyway, based on where they're at. Okay, where's two at? Two is on the rejoin, I'm sure. Okay, so let's... I don't mind being a little bit higher than two uh, 2,000 meters. Okay, 600 kilometers per hour. Nine after the hour, so yeah, I'm I'm looking great on navigation. So tell you what, I'm going to come back whenever I get out to the rendezvous or something new happens, whichever occurs first. And it's right at ten after the hour. And another thing that occurs to me, and I'll go through these as they occur to me, little corrections to make from the first video, based on stuff that I figured out or based on comments. The fuel, the way this works, is that. I have the total fuel on the left gauge, but I still have, I didn't notice this before, but it just kind of wraps around to the right gauge. So even though the left hand column is down, I'll still have a thousand or actually 1.2 or 1200 kilograms. And it's in kilograms, not liters. That was another mistake I made. But I actually had when I landed last time about uh, yeah, 1200 kilograms remaining. And I'll get lights, like right next, right now I have external one on. As the external tanks deplete, those lights will come on, and then as the the different fuselage tanks deplete, the additional lights will come on. So I am making a lot more sense of this now. And I had a, a lot of fuel remaining last time, but I still made the right call. I don't think it, it would have been very, very close to make it all the way back on what I had. Okay, still same situation, medium range. Uh, radar out to my right that time so that would definitely be probably a hawk sight and I will go ahead and take it on down to 2,000 meters as briefed at this point still about oh, seven minutes from the rendezvous actually no nine minutes from the rendezvous so I'll be back okay coming up at about 12 after the hour just looking back to my right I have two aircraft out there forming up I would assume those are Maybe Grotch 2, the two ship, other two ship of Sukhoi 25s. And I've got two now forming up off my right wing. I was wondering where two was, but he's caught up to me. And we're just continuing on out. Uh, about, uh, oh, about seven minutes now from the rendezvous. So now would be a good time to start getting my weapons set up. So I want to, just like I did in the introduction video, or at least uh, the first part of the last video, whenever that was. I had it set up to do a ripple release, releasing two weapons at a time. So let me go ahead and select single two. That'll release both bombs. And let me go ahead and set uh, 40 milliseconds, 0.4 seconds, or 40 milliseconds as the release interval. So now, once I go to the air to ground mode, and that'll be keyboard seven, and uh, select that. That's how I'll be 
piece set up. I'm still in the navigation mode for now. Okay, I got two aircraft off my nose, low level. Probably, uh... I don't know. What all did I have on, on this package? Let me go back and look. I had, let's see, Grutch. Let's see. So that could be Wolf 1, uh, two ship of Sukhoi 17s. Or that could, uh, more likely, that, that's the two ship of uh, Sukhoi 17s back to my right, and this is the two ship of uh, Grotch 2 down below me. I think that would make a lot more sense. And speaking of going low, let me go ahead and. I've been meaning to do it. I've just been managing the trim and been trimming back out for a level of flight. So let me go ahead and go down to a little bit lower level and meet my uh, my briefed altitude block 2,000 meters as we get into the rendezvous, which is coming up in about, oh, five and a half minutes. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, still coming up on the rendezvous, about four minutes to go. I can look out there in the distance now and see my my features. I'm looking right at the target location right now. I've just got to follow the the shoreline up, and turn right, find my target. It'll be right where the water ends. And egress lift and get out of there. Had this airborne uh, radar uh, radiating off my nose and to the left. Those will be the friendlies, the MiG-23s, but just... Um, just for the heck of it, it's about, well, I was about to call for an AWACS picture, but, uh, okay, the AWACS is off station, which is just as well, no big deal. Okay, so how are we looking on timing? I've got five kilometers to go, well, I was like four minutes early on the rendezvous, so I'm just going to hold here in a left-hand turn over the rendezvous location. I can push it on a little bit, I've got about four kilometers, so you're right here over the town was the rendezvous. So... A little early this time, and what I meant to do on this was either dig through my boxes and find my E6B to, to actually do real navigation, or get something installed on my iPad, like a little electronic E6B. I found one that I kind of liked, but I never did actually buy it and install it. But maybe next time, and I'll, uh, I'll be able to actually come up based on the distance to the waypoint and uh, my airspeed the actual uh, uh, time to the waypoint, or based on the distance and time, find an airspeed that I need to to fly to make the uh, the desired time on target. Okay, yep, Sukhoi 25, so that's Grotch 2. Doing the same thing I am, just holding at the rendezvous location. So, I've got about uh, two and a half minutes to push, and I'll be back. Okay, back up with you, about 15 seconds to the rendezvous. And the way that it works in this mission is that, well, I, I won't spoil it, but it's a very, very slick way of the way that the rendezvous works in the mission and how the timing works out for all the aircraft, but suffice to say, the, rond the package is here, I just can't see them until a few seconds from now. Okay, so got the two ship behind me, I've still got two following me around in formation, and... Oh, any second now should be pushing for the uh, for the target. Okay, so I've got. Okay, gotcha. Okay, visual four ship, two ship. That'd be probably Grotch one and two. And let me look around here. What else do I see? That's it for now. I know that those MiG 23s and MiG 27s are here somewhere though. Okay, so let me bring it back around to the right, form back up with the package, and we'll get this thing going. So, I'm going to be looking for 700 kilometers per hour, and what was it, 700 meters, low level, all the way in. Right out there to my left. Okay, still looking around for my escort. I know they're there. At least I hope they're there. Just going to manage the trim. Yep, you're Grotch 1, and you are Grotch 2. Okay, let me bring it on around, and we'll get this thing going. So let me take it on down, push it up. 700, I can actually pull the throttles back in. Getting used to this aircraft and how she flies is proving to be somewhat of a challenge. Okay, I didn't mean to cut this formation off completely, but I did want to kind of tuck myself in over here. And we'll get formed up here and get on the right airspeed. Okay, so I'm just going to take it out straight. I know that I have friendlies all the way up to like that. All the way up to, if you see the light area and then the darker area 
up above it, that's the friendly lines. I have enemies coming down just from that edge of the... Yeah, just from the edge of the water and coming down, so... Okay, I'm going to navigate in route here. I will be back whenever something happens, or... Which it should be pretty, uh, pretty soon. Okay, still driving on to the target area, about 30 kilometers out. I've got the strike package off to my right now. I repositioned myself to set myself up for my original plan of, uh, or it still is my plan, and always was, of coming up here to the coast, turning right into the target area. Just looking out there, too far out to pick up anything visually just yet, but I am kind of worried about, not worried, but uh, airborne threats. I know that we had some stuff coming in from the west last time. I haven't seen any uh, airborne radars up for the last couple minutes, but I do have the Hawks up. I have uh, some batteries that I know are out there on the other side of the water with that little uh, western sector, and I know that I have some out in front of me and to the north. Okay, so looking in there, I should be able to start picking stuff up, or at least picking up features here in just a bit. Okay, let me just double check my map here, make sure that I understand exactly what I'm seeing. Okay, edge of the water, so I can just go straight to the right off of that urban area on the water's edge, and just right off of that. Okay, and also just keep my head out for anything else going on. Okay, I'm still on the right timing. Okay, so I've got the water, got the urban, urban area. Okay, two minutes. So I would expect it right, just to the right of the urban area. Okay, another 30 seconds I think I'll have these guys inside. Okay, let me go air to ground, keyboard 7. Okay, I've got both bombs selected. Okay, spike 1 o'clock, yep, I've got it too. That'd be, okay, airborne radar, so possibly some enemy aircraft off to my right. Okay, up high I've got a uh, four ship, I didn't see them before, but... Yeah, four ship and two ship, so that'd be my seed, and that would be my fighter sweep. I just saw them. I, they might have just fired a missile. Okay, looking into the area again. Okay, urban area. Right side. I know that I have enemies out here to my right. Not picking anything up, though, visually, just yet. Okay, should be able to pick up this road any second now. Okay, back in. Okay, how's stuff looking? Okay, just fine. Okay, spike 12 o'clock. Yep, got it. Okay, urban area. I've got the road. I've got a bridge. I've got enemy formations. I'm just not seeing my column. I was expecting to pick it up by now. If all else fails, I can take out a target of opportunity up here. I'm just not seeing a thing. I'm at the IP. Okay, column inside. Okay. Uh, let me push it up. I'll come back right here to the right. I'll pop up. It's going to be a kind of a bad setup on my part. Okay, pull me in a li little bit. Okay, let me dispense. Pop up. Terrible, terrible setup. This will work out, though. I can't believe it took me so long to find these guys. Okay, rolling in. Designate. Ah, terrible, terrible release. Okay, impact. Okay, let me go out of the area to the left. I was too... I was too low. I didn't give the bomb list time to dispense. That was just a bad setup. Okay, off. Let me just keep looking around. Okay, back out here over the water. Okay, laser designator off. You know what I'm going to do? That was so bad, I'm going to make a guns pass. On these guys. Let me bring my uh, stuff back up. Let me get two in. Okay, flight, engage. 
Ground targets. Can we come back around? Pick these guys up again. Okay, missile launch. That was on two, I believe. Okay, they dispersed. Okay, acquisition on me. Let me kick out some chaff. Roll back in. Laser on. Oh, God. Missile launches. Flare. Okay, I'm off. I'm out of here. Okay, that was enough excitement for this mission. Okay, let me keep kicking out flare. Let me keep, uh... <laughs> keep this aircraft moving around and get out of this area. Okay, two's running in. Two's got a mud spike. Okay, another missile launch on something up high. Okay, I'm just going to push out of the area. Let me have two rejoin. Flight. Uh, go formation. Rejoin. I'll get out of here. Okay, I'm curious to see what else is going on. At least it'll be entertaining from that aspect. You'll be able to see a lot of missile launches in the externals and in the tack view. So, uh, that's the great thing about doing the format I'm doing for this campaign is that even if I completely botch it like I did there, it'll still be at least uh, entertaining. Okay, so I'm out. Laser takes Nader off. Just like I said during the On the Range series, I always forget that. Okay, something just went in there. hope that wasn't too probably was considering the location okay, I've at least got one of those targets out there smoking that routed them around so I mean just like I said I think during the briefing even though I didn't take those guys out just the psychological effect of okay, acquisition let me go ahead and kick out some chaff the psychological effect of having a uh, aircraft come in at you and just make the attacks and put CBU in on your location even if it is not effective is is something you know there is something to be said for that and go to navigation mode let me select uh, steer point let me select the uh, steer point for base okay so yeah I was uh, yeah I thought I was heading in the right direction but yeah I can't be disappointed I got in got out it looks like I am going to survive this hopefully with two let me go ahead and uh, go flight rejoin just as a comms check more than anything else so uh, F9 Rejoin. Okay, yeah, two bought it. He, uh, yeah, he definitely went in. Let me just egress at low level to. Although I'm sure that Hawk side is not launching on me. I'm too far out for that, but I will take it out at a lower level. Okay, so airborne radars off to my right. Just looking around, I don't think there's anything. You're a Sukhoi 25, I can tell. Uh, single tail. That could be two. Okay, that's airborne radar behind me. Okay, two did make it out. Awesome. Okay, that's missile launches. Hawk. Going against probably my seed. I can see them kicking out flare. It's another one. Somebody got hit. Okay, two more. That's an air battle going on out there. Let me just go ahead and get out of this area as quickly as I can. Let those guys handle that because I am not equipped in the Sukhoi to do anything but get out of here. Okay, fuel state. 2,500 kilograms, not liters. Okay. So, yeah, disappointing, but I'll, uh, I'll get over it. It's going to be a long campaign. I can't win them all, so I'm going to navigate back and uh, talk to you when, when uh, I get there or something happens, whichever occurs first.